Hello friends, welcome to the video series on SQL practical question series. So here is another interesting question where we are going to write a SQL to, to find the number of employees and the name of the employees who is reporting to uh, each managers. Okay, here is the same employee table which contains the like employee information along with the manager ID. So what we need to do is we need to write a SQL which prints the number of employees working under each manager and the name of the employees. The name of the employees we need to print as a comma separated list. And if there is no people working under him, for example, in this case, like Adam Smith and the and few other uh, people doesn't have any uh, employees reporting under them. For them, you just need to leave it as a null or you can say the number of employees reporting under them as a like a zero. Okay, so here is the expected output. As you can see here, under Johns, there are two people reporting under him. What I mean is like a direct report. It's not like an indirect report. So under John, directly two people are reporting. So we need to say the number of reporting uh, employees are two and we need to just print the name of the employees. So in this case, Scott and Ford are reporting under John. Same way under uh, Blake, there are five people reporting under him. So against Blake, we need to say five and names are nothing but Alan, Ward, Martin and Turner. So we need to print. So exactly uh, like this, we need to print for all the employees. So wherever the employee doesn't have a direct report, report is, we just need to print a zero and we can just leave the name as a null. So in this case, like Turner, Ad, Adams, James, all these people doesn't have any report is. Let us see uh, now how to write uh, three different ways of SQL. In fact, you can write uh, like in a multiple way. I just want to show you three different ways so that it'd be a good learning experience for you and you can start yourself exploring the rest of the options. Now let us start writing the SQL. Okay, I'm just starting from the employee table. I've just selected employee number and name. Maybe we can uh, select the manager column also. Okay, let it be like this. Let me select uh, only the manager and the employee name from employee. So this is nothing but, uh, let me put order by manager so that it's easy for us to understand. For, for example, here, uh, Ford and uh, Scott are reporting to the same manager. So 7566 is nothing but John's. So in the second query, we just got the uh, manager ID and the list of employees working under him. So what we can do, we can use the list aggregation function to just make it as a comma separated list of name against each manager. So since I'm using the group function, I'm just putting group by manager. As you can see here, now we just got manager ID wise a list of name. So in fact, uh, we can put count of star also so that we'll just get the number of employees working under each manager ID. So we just got a subset of information here. But what we actually need is like the complete list of employees and their reporting. Anyway, just we got like subset of data. Now what we can do, we just can, okay, let us give some meaningful alias here like uh, uh, names of reporting, same way number of reporting. Okay, so now I can just use this as a inline view. Okay, here, let me give an alias here. Then I can say where employee dot employee number is equal to r dot manager. Okay. Okay, column ambiguously defined because uh, the manager we have selected, uh, it, it's not able to identify whether this manager column is from the employee table or it's from the inline view. So I'll just put employee.manager here. Okay, now we just got only six record. That is because not all the employees has the are, are the managers. There are few employees though they doesn't have any managers. So let us just make this as a outer join. Now if you see, we just got all the 14 employees. Now we can just need to select the names of the reporting and the number of reporting from the inline view. That's it. We just got the uh, list of employees here. Okay, in fact, we are not interested in the manager column here because this is nothing but the manager of the employees. So we can just leave it. So here is the list of uh, uh, employee. Here is a list of people who works as a direct uh, a report is under each person. You can see here under Johns. Now we just got Scott and Ford. Same way under like uh, Clark, we got Alan, Ward, Martin, Turner, and James. Under Scott, we got Adam. Same way under Ford, we got 
Smith. Same way under King, we got John, Blake and Clark. Yes. In case if you don't want to display as a null, if you want to display as a zero, you can use an NVL here. You can use like NVL of number of reporting comma zero. So that instead of a null, we can just display a bit more meaningful information. So this is like one way of writing a SQL to achieve the functionality. Now let us see one more way of writing the same SQL. Okay. So now let me write one more query here. Select e name from employee where let me take just one employee id 7566 sorry one manager id so for a given manager i'm just getting a list of uh, names so what i'm going to do i'm just going to use list ag of this names now if you see we are just getting a, a list of employees working under each manager so instead i'm just going to use this as a inline view here okay instead of this manager i'm just going to use e dot employee number now if you see we just got the list of employee same way we just got the comma separated list so this is because we are using the inline view so in this inline view will just compute the comma separated list of names for the each employee id we are passing that means when we pass this employee id it will just get the list of uh, employees working under them and just returns the comma separated way same way we just can use this again to compute the count instead of list tag we can say count of star okay so that will just get get the number of uh, number of employees reporting under them you can just give a meaningful alias here let's say names of reporting person same way number of reporting person so this is like this second way in the first way actually what we did we used the inline view as part of the from class in the second query we are actually using the inline view as part of the select class only let us see one more way of writing a sql to achieve the same functionality okay so again i am starting from the employee okay let me just give a alias uh, like em so I'm, i just want to treat the uh, this employee table as a like list of managers I'm just going to use another uh, table again employee it's nothing but the self join we are going to join the same table with itself so I'm saying where manager dot employee number is nothing but employees manager okay okay again let me just remove this manager Okay, what I need is from manager, I want the employee number. Same way from manager, I want the e name. Now I just got the stuff. Let me just put a outer join because of the null values. Now, we I just got the uh, employee number and the employee name from the table which I am referring like a manager. Same way now I am just getting the e dot e name. So that this will just give the... <coughs> employees working under the each manager let me just order it by uh, the first column so that it is easy for us to understand how the query is retrieving the data actually if you see the query retrieves something like this uh, like under blake there are five people reporting under him so you will be able to see from the first table we are actually getting this portion and in from the second table we are getting the this portion that's why we are using the self join here now since we got the uh, manager name and the employee working under each manager name now it is just a matter of using the list aggregation function here so list aggregation of e name i'm just putting a comma okay it is uh, since it's a group function we need to use the group by class you say group by the list of column okay now we just got the list of employees and working under each manager under john's uh, Ford and Scott are working same way under Clark Miller is working under Scott Adams is working so let's give let's give some meaningful alias here so I'm just giving names of reporting people same way we can compute the count also instead of list tag let us use the count function now if you see I am just giving number of report now if you see uh, we just got the uh, list of uh, employees working under each person and the number of employees working under each person. 
actually we saw like a three different queries in the first query see this is the key learning here in the first query we are uh, using an inline view as part of the from class the uh, aggregation logic actually goes in the inline view here you can see the list aggregation of enum and the count of star in the second way uh, instead of using the inline view in the from class i am using the inline view in the select class like two inline views i am using one to compute the uh, list of name and other to compute the uh, number of employees working under each name in the third query the third query is a bit different from the first two queries because here we are using a self join we are just using the same table twice under and we are just joining with the employee with the manager id okay see uh, in fact you can write like in a multiple ways but the actual learning comes from how you will select the optimized query of course uh, you will be able to uh, first you need to come up with a multiple queries then you will check the explain plan then you will find the cost and all these underlying uh, parameters then you can pick and choose but just by looking at the query see as as you start progressing in writing the query uh, you should acquire this skill like uh, by looking at the query you should be in a position to just pick the right one in the first attempt but obviously you need to go through all these performance tests to pick the right one but just uh, as a learning experience by looking at this i will say uh, in this in the first query we are actually uh, scanning the employee number uh, employee table here as well as here that means only two times same way in the third query we are just using the employee uh, table twice so it will just go for a self join and it will scan the table twice whereas in the second query if you see here we are scanning the table once and here also we are scanning twice in fact since it is an inline view in the select class the query gets executed for each and every row retrieved by the uh, main query here so uh, this is not the much efficient query according as per the current scenario however i would always suggest you try a, writing a multiple uh, query for a same problem uh, try ex try getting the explain plan uh, understand how it is how it is generating the plan internally then you come up with the optimized query uh, this uh, all these codes I have actually given in the link. The link I have given in the description. You can copy this query, uh, uh, execute it. Uh, more importantly, understand how each and every query is different from others, and what is the underlying difference from a performance angle aspect. If you have learned something new, uh, please like this video, subscribe, and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, concept videos, and practical question. If you want any questions to be addressed, you can drop in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. Thanks a lot for watching this video.